What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, so boy Shingy, you already know what it is. I am so excited to be making this video because it's been long overdue. Like I've been wanting to shoot 35 mil and as well as also do this mystery box video. Like I've been dying to do it. Like, and yeah, I'm ready to do it. So now I have my Konica Auto Reflex T3 and this mystery box. Shout out to Downtown Camera. That's my lab, that's where I do it. That's where I get all my stuff done. Check out the fit, got my freaking kicks on. But yeah, I'm so excited guys, but we have over here the 35 millimeter box. I don't know what's in here. Can you guys see it's completely sealed? Check it out, it's all sealed up. Don't know what's in here. Um, I'm gonna be shooting with my Konica Auto Reflex T3 again. And yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna be shooting. So this film could totally work. This film could totally not work. Okay guys, so about to un unseal it right now. Check it out. We're about to unseal it. Let's see what's in here. What did downtown camera put for me in here? Unsealed. Now it's unsealed. Now it's open. There's no going back now, guys. There's no going back. So unsealed, open. And look at that. So we have a nice little photo card. Buy one film, get one. Whoa, so I get buy one, get one free on the next film, which is crazy. That is so dope. I don't know what this is. This is like a weird film. I think this is actually black and white film. Check this film out, guys. So, oh, it's a 100 speed film. It looks like it's like some foreign type film, which is pretty cool. It's black and white film, which is really, really dope, guys. This is black and white film. Oh, shoot, and I got another tote bag. I already have one over here. I get another tote bag. Oh, shoot, like I have a whole complete processing for this, which is really dope. And on top of that, guys, I also get a keychain. This is so dope. I think this is a keychain. What is this? There's the film out here coming out, but like I, I didn't know what to think about it. But it's a keychain. I'm gonna put this on my key, which is really dope. I'm gonna put this on my bag and my key and my camera possibly. But I'm so excited, guys. I have a really cool black and white film. I've been dying to shoot black and white as well. So like I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Check it out again. This is the free film. This is the film that I'm gonna be shooting today. It's 100 ISO speed film. Um, it's not expired, so here it is. Check it out guys, this is what it is right here. This is the film, and here's a card that I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get buy one, get one free, and I'm also gonna get free processing, and I also get a free tote bag, and yeah, I'm so excited. I'm super excited to do this. But I'm gonna load it up right now. We're gonna open up. Here we go. Here's how, here's how the film looks. Here's the canister. This is how the canister looks. Looks really cool actually. This is so cool, I'm actually so excited because it's black and white. So it's 100 speed foam. Here we are, we're almost loaded, locked and loaded. We're gonna stretch her out. Okay, so there we go. So now we're almost, we won't tuck it in here. There we go. I usually like saving a frame, so I'm gonna close it up right now. I'm gonna leave it cranked. We're gonna close her up and we're gonna go shoot, which is pretty dope. I wanna redeem this and I also wanna redeem everything in here, really. We're locked and loaded, here we go. So I'm not gonna talk through all these shots, I'm just gonna travel, walk around and just take pictures of everything. So yeah, all right guys. Crazy, what the fuck? What's up guys, so so far I'm having really a lot of fun. I'm waiting for my car to get fixed. Like I'm supposed to get like some brakes fixed and all that kind of stuff. But so far I'm just kind of exploring the area I'm at and it's so cool, like I'm just so excited because I found an abandoned Rolls Royce that was on fire, which was dope as hell. I'm like, what the hell? Like that's just so crazy, like it's so dope. But I'm so excited. These pictures are coming out so dope so far. Um, they, the, the whole thought 
taking these pictures is that include as much shadows as you can and also as much light and shadow detail that's the most important thing shooting black and white um yeah i'm having fun i love shooting 35 because like i'll just shoot anything i want like i'm gonna shoot more 35 for sure because i'm gonna do some serious shoes shooting 35 i'm so excited but like yeah i'm happy i'm just chilling i'm having fun i'm making photos that's all that matters you know i'm just happy about that hope you guys are loving the video so far that's about it just listen to the trees they speak with ease What's up guys, so I'm gonna step in real quick and say please give the channel a quick subscribe by hovering over at this little square over here, there's a little square. Uh, hover your mouse over that, hit the subscribe button, it'll pop up. It won't interfere with the video, so don't worry, the video's gonna play right after this whole little quick message. And yeah, do shit. So what's up guys, so I just took a portrait of some random dude uh, at the LCBO. LCBO is like where we buy alcohol and liquor and stuff. So we just, I just gave him like two bucks. Over there at the corner there, that's the dude. I just got a, I just got a portrait of him. But so far the shoot is so awesome. The shoot is going so well. Honestly, it was it's so hard to capture footage. Hold on, hold on, I got a picture right here. I got a picture right here. I got a picture right here. Hold on, y'all. It's so weird because like I'm not used to taking pictures of of, of strangers and stuff. But. Yeah, so I just took the picture. It's so hard taking pictures of strangers and stuff because I'm not used to that shit, you know. Not used to it at all. But shout out to people that are able to just do it, man. Like, I manually focused everything, which was kind of like, which kind of sucked because, like, manually focusing street photography is really hard. Like, lost my Olympus AF10. I would have used that, but I don't have it. Like, I don't have it. So, right now, I'm just kind of like handheld doing everything, which is pretty dope. So far, so good, though. But, um, yeah, guys. Um, other than that, I'm gonna try to capture as much footage as I can. It's kind of hard, but I'm gonna try my best to capture as much as I can. But again, it is really hard. But yeah, that's about it. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Check this out. It's all open as fuck. Look at that. There's like nobody. I think it's like a photo shoot waiting to happen right here. Like, legit.
guys check out that abandoned chair over there well not abandoned but like it's a really cool shot of just the chair imagine somebody there okay just imagine somebody this is really dope it's like a, a car alone it's really cool okay hey what's up <laughs> Yeah, man, it's, it's not, you're not the first person to do that. Like, you shouldn't feel like, you shouldn't feel too awful about it. You know, it, yeah. it does happen sometimes. Yeah, I think, I think I, because it was actually from the, um, from the mystery box. So mm -hmm. the, the film is like some random, it's called Adult Silver Max or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's pretty cool that's pretty cool stuff actually and don't don't use one of those color ones you know the white yeah ones. the white ones <laughs> don't yeah don't do that that is just gonna fuck up your show make sure it's the black one <laughs> all right sounds good dude thanks a lot man so guys i messed up i pretty much fucked up because when i was shooting i over advanced the film so now the film is stuck so right now what i gotta do is i gotta go home open up the dark bag I have already have the canister, which is all black. I have to open up the dark bag, pull the film out of the camera, and then put it into this little canister. So, yeah, I, I have to. So, we're going to go do that right now. I'm contemplating on developing the film myself because I do have... Um, actually, I'm not going to do that. I hate scanning 35 mil, so I'm just going to go do it to the lab because I already have a free scan and a free development. So I'm going to just go drop it off at the lab and they'll take care of it. So hope you guys like that video. Like, oh my God, guys, I actually had so much, so much fun recording that video and actually creating. There's something about 35 mil that makes you disconnect and just sort of, what's the word? Like, just appreciate photography. It makes me not want to think and it makes me think about digital digital those are the some of the positive things to do with digital that you don't get to think you don't you're not worried about a shot but um, I'm just so happy guys I'm just so happy because I got to shoot I got to not think too much I just got to have fun slow down you know do some fun content and I really really love the way the content came out. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of my favorite pictures. Um, it's not a lot, I'm not gonna make this video longer than it's supposed to be, but I am happy, I'm very happy with this role, guys. Like, there's, there's not much I could change. The film is incredible. This is absolutely my favorite black and white film right now because that's how I edit. I love the whites. I love the dark tones. This film is this film is amazing. I'm so sorry. This film is just incredible. I don't shoot a lot of black and white, but I've shot some HP5, some T-Max. I've shot all those films, but this film has been the closest to how I envision black and white and how I want my black and white to look. So I'm just so happy. I'm happy I got to do this. There's actually another video on a mystery box coming out like in the next couple of days. And I'm not gonna tell you guys again what film it is, but I'm so happy. This film, guys, if you guys wanna check out this film, it's available at my favorite, my lab, where I, like, where my father of photography is, downtown camera. Check them out, guys. You guys could actually ship some of your stuff from wherever you are to them, and they'll take care of it. They'll process it for you. Shout out to downtown camera. Those guys are my friends. We have such a great relationship and they're so good. They're so kind. They handle your stuff with really good care. And yeah, you never regret it. Shoot your stuff to them. But with that being said, guys, I am so happy. Expect some more photo vlogs coming. I have so much new content. I told you guys, because I hit a thousand doesn't mean I'm gonna stop. I'm actually gonna go a lot harder, a lot more photo vlogs, a lot more new content, a lot more stuff happening. And again, guys, I'm gonna be starting the $10 critiques for five minute Skype calls i'm gonna let you guys know when that starts um a lot of people are already interested in this and i have so many cool information to share but with that being said guys thank you guys again for tuning in it's your boy shingy follow me on instagram at shop by shingy check out my portfolio at shop by and check out the brand shopwaybetterco.com i'm wearing my shoot film shirt right now i also have my tote bag over there which is really really cool last but not least follow and hashtag at we photo guys to have your picture featured there's a lot of great plans i have in mind guys for we photo guys so i'm just so ex excited for this this is just a disclaimer you don't have to follow this next instagram i'm going to let you know um, i'm really inspired by the last shoot that i want to really focus a lot on my 
35 millimeter street photography so if you're a person that's really into street photography check out my streets by Shingi page I just started it I'm not gonna be plugging it in every video it's one of those things that if you know you know if you don't then I don't know but you know what I mean yeah I'm just so thankful guys again thank you guys again for your constant support you guys are incredible it's the push you know what it is new content coming